a hurricane before Hurricane Irene hit the East Coast over the weekend, energy officials were preparing for the worst. But it turns out that the coast's nuclear reactors made it through the storm fairly well. Obviously, some good news there. Bloomberg New Energy Finance's Chris Godomsky is here with me now for more on just how the plants were affected. So, Chris, uh, eight out of the 24 reactors on the East Coast were affected. Uh, that's correct, but there's only two of them that were uh, were shut down uh, completely. Uh, one that was shut down was the uh, Oyster Creek, which was an old reactor and was directly in the path of the storm on the Jersey coast and Tom's River. And we took prudent action and shut that reactor down just to go ahead and make sure that there was no excitement. The other reactor that was shut down 100% was one of the Calvert Cliffs reactors in Maryland. Uh, and, uh, and, and that reactor uh, was a victim of a flying piece of aluminum siding from one of the buildings that stuck a transformer. So the problem was not within the reactor, it was outside the reactor flying debris, shorting out the transformer. And normal procedure is to shut down and reassess to see what's going on. Uh, Chris, you were giving us uh, the, the positive note here in that eight out of 24 reactors who were impacted by the storm didn't have to shut down. They could go on with business. But at the same time, output, um, nuclear output is at the lowest level in five years. So good news they stayed online, but we are seeing a reduction in supply. Uh, well, that's correct. Um, but uh, there's a lot of reactors that are, investment is being made in the reactors to go ahead and rehabilitate these reactors to, uh, that are part of the normal up to, uh, routine upgrading of them to go ahead and improve the efficiency and to do routine maintenance, okay? So there are a lot of reactors that are coming down off the line for extended uh, periods of, uh, uh, of maintenance. For example, the yeah. San, San Onofre reactor on the, on the West Coast, uh, they just replaced the uh, steam generators. That's a huge, expensive uh, uh, proposition to do that but shows one of two things. One is that we're going to go ahead and continue to invest in these reactors and that they are going to be a critical part of our generation mix going forward. So we had um, a surprise earthquake and a major storm hitting the East Coast, uh, unlike what we've seen in decades here uh, in this country. Are we lucky or are we just well prepared in terms of uh, the nuclear industry? Well, I think that we're much more well prepared than we are lucky. The perfect example is the decision by Exelon to shut down their Oyster Creek reactor in anticipation of uh, a bad storm. It was the prudent, wise, conservative thing to do, as opposed to letting it run uh, in, the, in the, 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 uh, the focus of the storm. So I think that's a very prudent mm -hmm. thing to do. There's a lot of emphasis being placed by the nuclear power industry in looking at the impacts of Fukushima and how to make sure that we have all our backup systems correctly uh, working and systems identified so that we don't have the catastrophic events that happened uh, in Japan. All right, Chris Kadamski joining us from Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Thanks so much. Thank you.